Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the class. So today is Friday. Amazing. I don't know if it was raining where you are, but it was raining a lot. So yeah, I don't know if it's because of the hurricane. Do you know anything about? I don't know if it's that the reason. Maybe, right? Okay. Anyways, uh, we are going to start by checking the platform. Remember that we need to move on every time. Every time that we finish a class, we have to do the, the homework, right? So this is the class of tonight, and we have to uh, do the 1.9 homework, where there is like a reading here. If you click at the plus, you will be able to do this bigger, or if you click here, you will be able to do uh, look on that in a, in another window. So you can read, and according to the reading, we're going to check what would be the correct option, okay? Also remember that when we do the uh, exercises where we have to type, we need to be careful, right? Because a space, a period, something, there might be causing that yeah, it's not correct. So only, only that. Nice. So we are going to check the attendance. So let's see. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Hello, teacher. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Present, teacher. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, teacher. Present. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidoni. We cannot hear you, but I see that you're here. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Maybe it's me. Um, can you hear me? Yes. Se quedó congelado, teacher. Ah, okay. Now, now I, I can. I can, can, yeah. I can hear. Present. I can yeah. hear you, teacher. And René. Okay. I thought it was me. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Osea Figueroa okay. Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present, teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present teacher. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present teacher. Good. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Very good. Perfect. Okay. So we are going to start the class of tonight with a video. So check the video and then you are going to tell me what you understand about that, okay? So let me just go here. All right, here we go. Using a channel of independent third-party companies to find, win, make, keep, and grow happy customers on our behalf has a long tradition in the software industry. For some software companies, this indirect channel has been a major contributor to global success. But for most software companies, making it work remains a constant struggle. I'm Hans Peter Beck, and in this video, I will discuss the main difference between the direct and the indirect go-to-market approach and how you can make the indirect approach work in your favor.
With a direct go-to-market approach, you employ and you pay all the resources required for finding, winning, making, keeping and growing happy customers. The benefit of the direct approach is the full control you enjoy and your ability to make fast changes to the way you interact with the market. The drawback is the massive long-term investments this approach requires and the steadily growing organization you need to manage on your path to global market leadership. In the indirect go-to-market approach, you must first find and recruit independent companies that then find, win, make, keep and grow happy customers, providing solutions with your product as a core component. Such independent companies operate in their own name, at their own expense, and at their own risk. The benefit of the indirect approach is the enormous scalability potential. The drawback is the added complexity of managing independent companies between you and your customers, and the additional time it takes to recruit and enable the channel partners before you can book any significant revenue. When you choose the indirect go-to-market approach, then you introduce a third-party business model into your own business model. Your ability to manage this additional layer of complexity is the key competence that will help you become successful with the indirect channel. Now, I strongly recommend using the business model framework and terminology introduced by Alexander Osterwalder in his seminal book, Business Model Generation. Using the Osterwalder framework, your business model with a direct channel is illustrated to the left, while the business model using the indirect channel is illustrated to the right. Introducing an indirect channel into your business model may very well have an impact on all the other building blocks in your business model. Now, keeping the following issues in mind will help you become successful with the indirect channel approach. Customers of your channel partners are still your customers, even when the invoicing relationship is now through the partners. You want to create and maintain brand awareness with your customers and ensure that they can see value in the fact that the channel partner solutions are built with your core technology. Your channel partners are not your customers. They are your channel to your customers. Recruiting and managing channel partners now become a key activity and a core competence you must acquire and grow. You now need two value propositions, one for your customers and one for your channel partners. Your channel partner value proposition is based on your understanding of the business model opportunity that you offer them. With the indirect channel approach, it is not only your product that must be attractive and competitive. You must also help your channel partners build and scale a successful business model with your product as a key component of their customer value proposition. Compared to the direct go-to-market approach, the indirect go-to-market approach generally requires more time and additional investments up front. But it pays off as your channel partners gain momentum and grow their business with your product. This series of videos on building successful partner channels was brought to you from Copenhagen, my hometown. Very good, directly from Copenhagen in Denmark. So the question is, what did you get from the video? Yes, teacher, it's very important uh, key consideration uh, by uh, indirect sales. Uh, first, uh, end, uh, end users are uh, our customers, but uh, channel partners no are our customers and two value propositions required 
uh, partner management uh, will be a key activity and uh, core competence. Uh, comp uh, competence. Very good, perfect. Thank you. So yes, it's very important, right? To decide which one is better for your company because uh, that is going to sometimes it's going to depend on that one, the life of the company. So we need to be okay. careful. Any other comments or opinion on the video? Teacher, uh, the the video mentioned, I, I think the someone key considerations about the direct versus in in indirect channel approach is depend for for the con the the customers and for example the the one key consider is end user are your considerations uh, i think this this is the, the very very important for for the sales and for the customers very good perfect so yes you need to consider many things but why that is one of the most important definitely so good perfect any other comments or opinion on the video okay we have a second video that is related to this one so we are going to watch that video and then uh, again you have the chance to analyze check what you understood and then compare uh, tell me uh, your opinion so let's see hold on a second uh this is it here we go using a channel of independent third-party companies to find, win, make, keep, and grow happy customers on our behalf has a long tradition in the software industry. For some software companies, this indirect channel has been a major contributor to global success. But for most software companies, making it work remains a constant struggle. I am Hans-Peter Beck, and in this video, I will discuss the principles for when we can choose the indirect approach through independent channel partners, and when we are better off going directly to the markets. Choice between serving customers directly through our own marketing and sales efforts, or using independent resellers or channel partners as we call them, that operate in their own name, at their own risk and at their own expenses is highly affected by the nature of your business model. There are basically three scenarios to consider. In the A scenario, our product is the basis for big projects with a high price tag. Our potential customers will have a committee assigned to drive the project and just one of their tasks is to select the vendor. From our perspective, such projects are complex and risky because there are many decision makers with different agendas. The sales cycles are long and losing such deals are very, very expensive. A scenario companies typically choose a direct go-to-market approach for two main reasons. The first reason is lack of resellers. In the market for specialized, comprehensive, and customizable solutions. There seldom are any independent channel partners readily available to find, make, keep, and grow enterprise customers on our behalf. The second reason is the uncertain growth potential for new independent resellers. As the learning curve for mastering these types of solutions is long and steep, and as there are only a few deals open in the market at any time, and as the sales cycles are long and the customers clearly prefer being served by the vendors directly, the growth potential for independent resellers is very uncertain. So vendors in the A scenario not only prefer, but are also left with no other choice 
than the direct go-to-market approach. Now, this situation may change as we establish our brand. When we have built a solid market share in the A scenario, it is not unusual that we are approached by potential implementation partners. Implementation partners are not interested in, and are also seldom very good at, selling our solutions. It may actually be very interesting for us to establish a network of implementation partners as they will enhance our delivery capability. <laughs> Yeah, actually, it was raining very hard. Actually, I was speaking that with my, okay. my wife here. So it's, it was raining. And uh, uh, when I was checking the attendance, I believe that you told me you got frozen, right? It's because of that one. I was checking here the internet and it looks fine. But anyways, anyways, and right now, what I did is I connected my hotspots just in case that happens. But, well, I'm sorry about that one. But we can continue, definitely. Um, and I'm going to just go back in the video a little while so you can continue that one. Let's see. Eh, teacher, eh, solo que se escuchaba algo cortado el, el video. Yeah, probably it's because of the same reason. I'm going to start from scratch, okay? I'm going to start from the very beginning. Let's see. And I'm not going to put it that way. All right. Okay, let's see if you listen better this way. No se escucha. I can hear the video. We cannot, we can, we can not hear you. No lo escuchan ustedes. No. Oh, no. Ni yo tampoco. No. No, no, ni yo tampoco. <risa> ah, chistoso. Malo. <risa> y yo pensaba que pichica ya mi computadora la está dando. <risa> Ajá, igual. María, se Sí, es, es, un, es un chiste de viernes en la noche. Sí, 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 claro. <risa> ya es viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe, va. No, pero lo está escuchando el tutor. Yes. <risa> Using a channel of independent <laughs> third-party companies to find, win, make, keep, and grow happy customers on our behalf Ahora se pueden escuchar ahí cuando le doy play. Has a long tradition in yes, the software sure. industry. Yes, yes. Uh, very well, let's see how it goes. Using a channel of independent third-party companies to find, win, make, keep and grow happy customers on our behalf has a long tradition in the software industry. For some software companies, this indirect channel has been a major contributor to global success. But for most software companies, making it work remains a constant struggle. I am Hans Peter Beck, and in this video, I will discuss the principles for when we can choose the indirect approach through independent channel partners, and when we are better off going directly to the markets. choice between serving customers directly through our own marketing and sales efforts or using independent resellers or channel partners as we call them that operate in their own name at their own risk and at their own expenses is highly affected by the nature of your business model there are basically three scenarios to consider in the a scenario our product is the basis for big projects with a high price tag. Our potential customers will have a committee assigned to drive the project, and just one of their tasks is to select the vendor. 
From our perspective, such projects are complex and risky because there are many decision makers with different agendas. The sales cycles are long and losing such deals are very, very expensive. A scenario companies typically choose a direct go-to-market approach for two main reasons. The first reason is lack of resellers. In the market for specialized, comprehensive and customizable solutions, there seldom are any independent channel partners readily available to find, make, keep and grow enterprise customers on our behalf. The second reason is the uncertain growth potential for new independent resellers. As the learning curve for mastering these types of solutions is long and steep, and as there are only a few deals open in the market at any time, and as the sales cycles are long and the customers clearly prefer being served by the vendors directly, the growth potential for independent resellers is very uncertain. So, vendors in the A scenario not only prefer, but are also left with no other choice than the direct go-to-market approach. Now, this situation may change as we establish our brand. When we have built a solid market share in the A scenario, it is not unusual that we are approached by potential implementation partners. Implementation partners are not interested in, and are also seldom very good at, selling our solutions. It may actually be very interesting for us to establish a network of implementation partners as they will enhance our delivery capability. When companies in the A scenario are successful with their sales efforts, exactly the delivery capacity often becomes the critical bottleneck. Now in the B scenario, we are in the opposite end of the chart. We have a simple and inexpensive product addressing a huge volume market. Having a simple standard solution with short sales cycles addressing a large market doesn't benefit from using independent channel partners. The partners have little value add potential and they need to build a volume business to achieve profitability. Independent channel partners are seldom the best resource for generating volume sales of simple products. In the B scenario, you will be approached by potential resellers when you have established your brand. When there is a steady demand in the market for your value proposition, potential resellers can bundle your products with their own current offerings and increase their share of customers' wallet without increasing their sales expenses. Likewise, you may see an opportunity using resellers to reach segments in the market where your own direct reach is weak. The best opportunity for an indirect go-to-market approach based on independent channel partners is the C scenario. The C scenario, where our solutions are addressing the small and medium enterprise market with moderate sales cycles and with value add potential for the channel partners is already served by independent channel partners. The channel is already there. In the C scenario, there is enough market volume to support many partners. And as each partner can make extensions to the product, they do not have to compete head on for the same business. The value add potential will improve the channel partner's margins and make the individual business deal much more profitable for them. With the channel partner's extensions and implementation capacity, we can reach much bigger markets than we could ever reach with our own resources. The partners benefit from our branding efforts and the joint activities of us and our partners help create more awareness and stimulate demand. So let's sum it up. Very comprehensive products addressing the enterprise market and very simple product addressing a mass market should primarily be sold directly through our own marketing and sales operations. Products with a value-add opportunity addressing small and medium-sized organizations 
can benefit substantially from being sold through the already available channel of independent value-added resellers. This series of videos on building successful partner channels was brought to you from Copenhagen, my hometown. Okay, now it was successful <laughs> after three times. Anyways, what did you get from the video? The video show uh, the three scenarios about a shoes and indirect channel, but uh, I I believe and I think the best scenario uh, is about or is around direct through you our own sales force is the best way because uh, in the table in the line and the product driving is good and the deal size is very good okay very good interesting so yes it's important to analyze so you can choose the best one right and the, in the example yes you are right the graphic it was Totally. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Any other comments or opinion? Is is it interesting uh, the the different uh, different uh, different kind of, uh, different uh, channel is a uh, is a uh, channel the this is partner. Is a to sellers direct or force the sales direct um, in 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 las firmas de servicios, por ejemplo, de auditoría, for example, um, KPMG, the, uh, for the zero num uh, number, one number is a uh, the the most firm is um uh, uh, in other countries is a uh, different countries is ta is a uh, partners is um uh, the cost uh, uh, the the costs uh, is 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 menu uh, for um. Uh, como eh, digamos que la re, de, representación de, 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 esa, de esas firmas está en diferentes países a ellos es como más um, fácil eh, tener presencia en eh, eh, more, more, more countries y it's a minor cost. Okay, very good, perfect. So that is true. Uh, that's why um, it's important to analyze first uh, because exists the two types of distribution, the direct and the indirect, because depending on the size of the company, depending on the product, depending on uh, how fast you want to, to send. For example, imagine that here in, in El Salvador, we have, roses from Guatemala for example so the distribution channel for that one is it has to be very fast because the roses they last only a few days days only okay food like fruits or vegetables also right uh, and it's different when you are going to handle uh, computers or many other things so depending on those things depending how fast you want to move things uh, then you are going to decide what is the best, the best channel. Um, so the analysis is very important. Uh, and is uh, as we checked, do you remember that we were checking about um, the four P's of the marketing matrix? I mean, that is something that we can analyze from different points of view, not only because of the advertisement, but also uh, from the point of view of the distribution channel. So then it's very interesting because if you if you don't choose the correct one, that can cause a huge impact in the company. So big that maybe is the difference between 
profit for closing your company. So it's a very, very important. Very good, nice analysis. Uh, all right, so let's continue. And this is it, the presentation for tonight. So it says, um, oh, but we're going to go to this, to the other one. Uh, this is like a, a review of yesterday, uh, but this is very interesting because you can see here that you can use the grammar that we checked yesterday in many ways. So you remember that when you use as and as is for uh, compare, right? When you are going to do a comparison. So, and when this is affirmative, the comparison is like the same. The two things are in the same level. But when it's negative, the first one is less than the other. So, but yesterday we were checking that you can use an adjective or an adverb. Actually, we can use many things. So for example, uh, we can use an adjective. You can see that the, the first line, subject, verb, as, and the adjective, and as, and then a noun or noun phrase. That is the structure for the first one. So for example, Benji is as playful as Cody. So playful is an adjective. So we can use an adjective with this, um, with this structure. So it's something that we checked yesterday. Uh, the other one is with an adverb. With an adverb, we can use the subject, the verb, then as, the adverb, and as, and then the noun or noun phrase. For example, Benji runs as fast as Cody. Okay, so it's kind of the same, but the difference is that you can use an adjective or an adverb. The other one is very interesting. We can use much or many and then uh, a noun, and then us. So for example, subject, verb, us, and then much or many. So remember that here we need to remember if the noun that we're going to use is countable or non-countable. So that is very, very important. And an example on that one is, uh, Ayami has, look, the verb has, as many cars as Zora. So if this is affirmative, that means that Ayami and Zora, they have exactly the same amount of cars. But if I say Ayami doesn't have as many cars as Zora, that means that Ayami has less amount, okay? And since cars is a, is a, a, a countable noun, then we're going to use many. But we can use that also with uh, an uncountable. So for example, I didn't see here the, the example, but we can say an example. It can be, for example, like Ayami has as um, much patience or as much, how can I say, as much, I don't know, water as Zora, for example. And that is a, with much because what it is at non cost or as much money, right? Not as many money, but as much money as so. So, and also it's possible to do that in negative. So this is just a review on what we checked yesterday, but I don't know if you have any questions. The, the, the ruler is, is are good teacher, but the 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 good example, the comprehension is is better. I think that is correct for for that the practice correct. for the practice. That is that that is so correct, and that is why actually we are going to write. We are going to because I want to be this clear. I want you to write five sentences using us and us. You can use adverbs, adjectives, or nouns. Remember that if you use nouns, the verb has to be something like have or has, right? because you are going to speak about countless. So uh, do the exercise, do the five sentences, and then we're going to check together. I'm going to leave the uh, slide there so you can see, that, okay? And if you have questions, I'll be here. Five sentences, my friends. Okay, okay, teacher.
Pues la doctora de una sola vez entiendo que le hizo la cita, fíjate. Porque, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Porque aparentemente le están ayudando porque es urgente.
Okay, my friends, let's check what did you do. So uh, who wants to share the first sentence? My first sentence, teacher. are as faithful as Aida and me. Very good. Perfect. Hi, teacher. Yes. Can you hear me? Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Very well. Very good. Perfect. That was nice. Who wants to share uh, the second? I have... Excuse me, teacher. Use... <laughs> When you say in a presentation, no. se ha quedado. Oh, yo creo que ya regresó. Okay. Yeah, I'm back, back. I'm back. back. I'm sorry about that. The internet connection is right. just right now. Okay, could you please repeat the the question, Ramiro. Yes, no, I have a presentation with the, the my sentence. Ah, okay, very well. So let's check into that one. Let me just. But I cannot start screen my screen. You can do it now. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, Sam is as uh, uh, intelligent as Marcus. Good. My father is just as handsome as a uh, his son. Dice, mi padre es hecho como, como de tal palo tal a tía. My father like My so. hair is very nice as fair as my sister hair. Okay, in that my one, hair. it has to be my hair is as fair as my sister's hair. So very nice is not is not included. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, the rain this winter is as bad as last year. Good. And right now it's very, very strong. Winter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the food are as good as a vegetable. Okay, in that one, uh, it has to be the food is, because food is uh, singular. I mean, it's non countable. The food is uh -huh. singular. Thank you. Singular. Uh -huh. Very good. I Perfect. Agree. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else wants to share the examples? Me. Okay. Me. Go ahead. I have one. Okay. Juanita is a beautiful as Maria. Very no, good. As Maria. As Maria. Very nice. Very good. That is a very good example. Anybody else wants to share? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, one sentence uh, is, uh, I have as much money as Maria Julia. Okay, that is correct. As much money. Very nice. Because that is uncountable. Uncountable. Yes. Really? Nice. Yeah. And uh, anybody else wants to share? Yeah. If you want to dance, oh, oh, go ahead. Let's see. He's <laughs> it's, it's here to the party. I'm oh, sorry, I after because it's the noise now. Oh, Roberto is happy. Yeah. Yeah, it's party here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's good. Eh? So, since it's Friday, when you finish the class, you're going to go to the party. Yeah. I was, uh, Hey, if you hear me, hear me good, and I, I, I share my, my, uh, my example. Okay. Is for example, Patty is as as hungry as Mixi. Good. And Benji, uh, oh sorry, Patty, it's as slow as Mixi. Okay. Very good. Okay. Only that too. Very nice. That was very good. So this is uh, 
a grammar that is very common. So we need to remember to use it and we need to remember what is the structure, okay? All right, so let's go back to the presentation. Okay, and this is uh, how to become a successful retailer. So these are tips. If in the future you would like to become a retailer, these are very good ones. So let's read the first part, only the first part. And uh, let's see. Juan, could you please read me the first part only? I mean, the first column. Okay. How to become a success, successful retailer. A genu genuine liking for people. A special empathy for those in the customer segment he seeks to serve. Retail imagination, vision, and initiative merchandise, knowledge, overall retail experience, physical, emotional, and mental stamina, and common sense. Very good. So this is the first part. Of course, we're going to check the other ones later on. But uh, these are tips if you want to become a, a successful retailer. So let's check the first one. Um, the joining and liking for people. So yes, you need to you need to like work with people, right? Because you're going to be selling products, so you need to convince them, you need to uh, ask questions and things like that. So definitely you need to be very good with people, right? Uh, special empathy for those in the customer segment he seeks to serve. What is empathy? Empatia. Empatia. Very good. And what is seek? Buscar. Very good. So empathy is very important. I mean, if one person is looking for a product or a service, uh, you need to understand their need, right? Because it's not only to sell a product. If you understand their need, definitely it's going to be a very good, a very good uh, business, the one that you will do. The other one says retail imagination, vision, and initiative. Of course, that is very important in any business, not only for retailers, but in any business, you need to have very good imagination. You have to have a vision. So what will be the values of the company and initiative? Definitely, it will be very important. And very, Let, very creative. Yeah, you need to be creative because, creative. I mean, remember that there is competition, right? Maybe you are a very good retailer, but there are other companies. Uh, and that has happened to, to many companies. For example, if you remember Nokia in the past, they were the top cell phones company. But if you are not in a, with innovation and not creative, if you continue doing the same, other companies are going to come and take the position, right? So definitely in, it's very important. In, in, the same, in the same line, teacher, imagination, vision, and initiative, uh, to add value or a product or a service is is the key for 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 the service for the for the sales for the profit that is correct so definitely if you are going to sell a product or service you need to add value right you need to uh understand the needs of the customer and then uh, remember that they are going to pay a price but it's because of the value of the product or service definitely that is very important uh, the next one is also very important, merchandise knowledge. Uh, remember that the retailers, they don't produce any product. They just buy a product and resell the product. But they need to understand. They, they need to know the product that they are selling because there are questions, because they need to uh, offer the right product to, to the customers, right? Overall, retail experts, definitely. So how to move the products, how to distribute, that is a must. Physical, emotional, and mental stamina. Uh, do you know what is stamina? Resistencia mental. Resistencia mental. I want it. You need to have in everything, I mean, physical, emotional, and mental. 
because sometimes business are very hard and sometimes you are very stressed out, but you need to do what you have to do, right? So definitely. And the other one, I believe that is also for any business or anything that you that you are going to implement. Common sense. That is definitely something that any person have to have to do. Very, very important for everything. Exactly. For Common everything. Common sense. See, yes. Very good. Okay. In this, huh? case, in this case, the common sense, uh, someone say, uh, what is the, the unique sense that not all people have? And the, the really, uh, the common sense is uh, not is for all. Uh, the expectative is that all have the common sense uh, because it is for is a part of the uh, day of day of day and uh, in the in the life of everybody. But in the in the case of the uh, marketing, uh, sometimes the common sense is loose. Does not connect with the the consumer and with the brand, and sometimes is a campaign that don't don't make the connection uh, in between the two parts. Uh, it is a, a a fault in the in the sales and and the promotion of the product or, or brands and. I, I I don't remember one brand that is uh, uh, for me may click with the you know, common sense uh, with uh, the 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 publicity and uh, the sense of the, of the intention of the market pain. I don't remember, but it is for. This case is uh, very, uh, very important how to say the Ernesto say that is for me is I, I, I share that, uh, that idea. Okay. Yeah, that is very interesting. And uh, yes, that happens, right? Um, de depending on the companies, depending on many things. And you are right. So we believe that everybody has common sense. But I mean, even the new generation, sometimes they don't have right so something they twist the truth that is not not good okay let's read the other one so uh there is another column so let's see uh sandra could you please help me with the other part is it possible for you to read sandra Not possible. Okay, let's see then. Blanca Tunaka. Last last time, please. Ah, yeah, the last column, please. The column uh, right on uh, managerial. That part where it says managerial. Ah, okay. Managerial and executive ability and courage. Like the retail business and his store, like behind a merchant in the particular consumer category he is serving, willing to work hard, willing to take risks. Okay. Okay. So yes, these are another uh, tips for you to become a very successful retailer: managerial and executive ability, and courage. So there are two things here. What is managerial? Anybody knows? Yeah. Okay. Managerial is uh, like gerencial habilidad. Gerencial. So, managerial and executive uh, ability. I mean, you need to manage everything. You need to 
the that action you, to management. Exactly. That that is something that you really need and the courage to do the things. Because sometimes, for example, for example, imagine that you have a lot of personal, too many people working. So maybe at some point you need to fire people and uh, you need to have the courage to do that one. Uh, it's better to fire, I don't know, 10 people than to close all the company. So uh, there are things that takes courage. To do. The other one says like the retail business and his store. So of course, if you are going to be a retailer, you need to, to like that, you need to like the business, right? like being a merchant in the particular consumer category he's serving. Uh, remember that retailers, you are going to manage certain things, clothes, or maybe electronics, or maybe cell phones. So you really like to, you have to, to like that part so you can move on. The other one says willing to work hard. What is willing? Do you remember? Okay, willing is, huh? Dispuesto. Very good. Estar dispuesto a. In this case, willing to work hard. Yeah, it's not easy. And the other one also is kind of, yeah, important. Willing to take risks. Every business is a risk. All the business. Did you? Not, uh -huh. But, but the, in this line, willing to take the risk, mm -hmm. but calculate is possible oh, is oh. Calculate. yeah definitely is uh, is possible to calculate the risk you, there are formulas on that one right as but yeah, even when you calculate sometimes sometimes the work goes wrong for example in mind that you have a bar that you open a bar for the external, it, external factors exactly for example uh, that example i mean uh, you open a bar and everything is going very well but in mind what happened with the pandemic. Nobody okay. can go out. Right? So yes, there are risks that you handle, that you are able to, to check, but sometimes there are things that can come, right? But uh, so that's why you need to be willing to take risks because every business is a risk. Yes, teacher, it is. Very good. The next one says figure-minded. When you say that you are figure-minded, it means that you are able to solve things, to figure it out. That is the name of that. So there are problems, and then you need to find a, a valid solution. Right? That is it. And flexible, definitely. Uh, you know you know what happens. Here in El Salvador, that happens a lot in any business. So if you have a business, you don't have a patient. You cannot close your business. Uh, there are some businesses that in holidays is when they are busier, right? When they sell more things. So you need to be flexible. Yeah, of course, you can have a few. So uh, that is something that we need to consider. Uh, do you guys have any questions on this? It's good for me, teacher. Very nice. So let's go to the next one. How does a franchise operate? Ah, so this is something that we were discussing yes. before. Or, yes. uh -huh. Sorry, it is a, a question. Are you supposed to, uh, are you willing to bring um, all night, say? Yeah, that is true. It's very similar like when you go to an interview. When you go to an interview, they tell you, are you willing to, to work on Saturdays? Yes, yes. But then in the future, when the boss says, okay, this Saturday we're going to work, everybody's, oh my goodness, that is not, not possible, right? <laughs> some people, yes. Some people, they are willing to do things. And not everybody is like that. Okay, so how does a franchise open? Great. Um, let's see. Uh, Roberto Carlos, help me reading this slide. Uh, really? 
Yeah, read, yes, please. Okay. A franchise, franchise operates on a very basic, simply fundamental principle. A business owner, frank, franchisor, who has a successful business formula, passes that on to a business seeker, franchise, and bought of the shared the profit of the new business. That the franchise starts. Very good. So this is something that we discussed before, right? This is how a franchise operates. A business, well, it says a franchise operates on a very basic, simple, fundamental principle. Uh, what is principle? Do you remember? What? Uh, principle. Sorry about that. Principios. Yeah. Very good. That is very good. That is it. And then it says a business owner that we call the franchisor who has a successful business formula passes that formula on to a business seeker that is their franchisee. And both of them share the profits of the new business that the franchisee starts. So uh, they give the permission, right? They give you the training. They give you the permission to use the colors, the logo, and everything. And they also, I mean, the quality is very important. For example, if you are going to be a franchisee on Buffalo Wings, they tell you, okay, you need to do this and this and this, and we're going to have sign a contract. And if you don't do this, uh, we are going to have a legal problem. So you have to do it this way. Okay, so it's, it's not that that easy, right? But the good thing is that if the formula is already successful, you just need to open the store and people are coming, right? That's it. Good. Do you in have any case, questions? Huh? In this case, it is necessary. Uh, the contract uh, exactly. to use the franchise. Um, that is necessary. Have to use the, the, for example, the industrial reset and all the terms of the owner of the franchise. Uh, for example, in, the, in this case, uh, McDonald's, uh, with the problem uh, many years ago, with Servi Pronto because don't have uh, don't use the uh, in public form of the industrial uh, uh, la receta industrial I don't remember receta recipe uh, okay the recipe and um, for that is a, a legal problem yeah, hopefully in, is in, in the case uh, for many millions of dollars, 80 million dollars here. Yeah. Here, sorry. And, uh, but is uh, part of the use of a franchise to me. That is true. That is true. So, uh, yes, this is something very interesting. But it's, I mean, if you are going to be a franchisee, uh, definitely it's going to be difficult to achieve certain things, right? Quality things and things like that. Uh, do you have questions here in franchisee? How to operate the franchise? No, for me not, teacher, but I remember that Roberto mentioned about the legal, legal problem. That is true. That is true. So actually we're going to do an exercise about this. I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, we're going to work in groups. What I want you to do is to research. I want you to research, investigate about franchises and the, the requirements. They ask for them to sell the franchise to other people. So uh, it, the, the requirements, the, the things that they have to achieve. Uh, I don't know if it's clear what you're going to do. Is it clear? 
I understand teacher mm. the, the I I I research or investment about the fran franchise uh, about the requirement uh, requirement the uh the the, the cell uh, well, it's yeah, it's something like that. For example, imagine that we have a franchise of English classes, uh, and I have a company with a successful open English, for example. It's very popular, and everybody wants that one. So, what are the requirements that open English ask to people to be part of the franchise? So, look for one franchise, and what are those requirements? And then you are going to share with the class. Okay. Okay. Um, um, I I I need I need to to research for an a specific uh, company. Well, you Requirement. can yeah you can uh, speak about or, any or, franchise or in general in general. In, uh, it, it has to be about one company, a specific company. Okay. But, okay. but you can choose which company. Okay. Okay. Very okay. good. Okay. So Thank I'm you. gonna make the groups right now so we can do this one. It's not going to be that long, but let's see what happens, okay? So let's see. All right, here we go. I'm going to create that right now.
Hello, Monica. Hello, teacher. Yeah, I'm trying to move you to another room, but it's not possible. Is it possible for you to click where it says leave room? Uh, dele click donde dice leave room y la voy a unir a otro grupo, pero no me deja hacerlo si no lo hace. Okay. Hello. Hi, teacher. Uh, Hi, teacher. Can you uh, can you please repeat the the indication about the activity, please? Yeah, definitely. Uh, what you are going to do is research, investigate about a franchise, a company that is a franchise, and then check their requirements that they have, so anybody can buy the franchise. Uh, mm -hmm. Se va a buscar una franquicia y se va a buscar los requerimientos que ellos ponen, le ponen a la gente para poder comprar esa franquicia. Ah, ok. Ok, it's clear. Thank you, okay. teacher. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Ok, René. Es...
Okay, welcome back. So I would like to listen to you and check what did you find about franchises. So the first group is Blanca, Monica, Ramiro, and Roberto Carlos. Tell me, which company are you going to speak about? Okay, teacher. Uh, I share my screen. You okay. can see my screen? Yeah. Okay, yes. we um a investigation for the in general for the franchises. Okay. Okay, it's necessary. Uh, basic six uh, important uh, regulation. Uh, Roberto uh, begin uh, to the uh, talking about the the, the requ requirement. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Ramiro. Uh, the requirement general for franchises uh, is the point one. The requirements for franchises depend on the type and origin of the franchise. But in general, the following can be mentioned. Registration of brand, logo and slogan to protect the identity of the franchise. But uh, I add about this that in our country, we don't have an special law about this case. Um, we we use for the protect the, the, the franchise, we use the, tra the trademark, trademark and other distinctive signs in El Salvador. And is uh, the responsibility, the responsibility is uh, the C, C and R. Uh, or National Register uh, Center in El Salvador is uh, Monica is to continue. Okay. okay. Uh, registration in the register or franchise if it is franchise of national origin contract franchise, franchise sorry uh, contract with franchises that establishes the condition and obligation of the both parts. Okay. Okay, the, the very important accurate pre-contractual information describing the franchise, its age, its own ownership rights is necessary in, in each uh, country. Uh, but uh, is, if you come a franchise, you must receive training for your franchisor related to sales techniques, operating and management rules, characteristic aspect of the franchise and substantial, substantial know-how uh, by set of uh, knowledge or practical processes resulting from the franchisor experience. This is a basic uh, uh, requ requirement. Very good. Actually, this is very nice because, yes, it's general, but it's very specific. So, uh, of course, depends on the type and origin of the franchise. And uh, definitely, you need to register the brand, logo, and slogan because this is part of the franchise. And uh, also, uh, we need to establish the conditions and obligations on both, right? Training or the uses of the logo, many things. And the contract, of course, is very, very important. So you can determine how long it's going to be, um, uh, many other details. And uh, the rules uh, and how to do many things and the training that they have to receive. All of those are exactly, exactly what a franchise has to do. So are like the, the most important requirements. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you for all. All right, the next group is let's check, Aida, Maria Julia, Osea, Sandra, and Sylvia. Hello, good evening, uh, teacher and partner. Uh, um, our team and I are going to talk about the uh, franchisees Puma. 
Uh, according to the information that we found on the um, uh, internet, uh, we find that in uh, this kind of uh, um, fa okay, frontiers, uh, they have a lot of, um, uh, I don't know how to say, oh, okay, but brains in their um, stores, but um, according to information, uh, they need to to get some earnings about the product that we that they have in the franchises. For example, for example, um, Diana. Okay, Diana need to give to the Puma ten percent of the earnings in order to to get some uh, I don't know how to say ganancias earnings right uh, earnings, earnings? Or profit yeah earnings okay of the product um okay my peers it continue with the same information okay Okay, who's next? Is it franchise Puma Energy uh, uh, the the st st station uh, station Puma and stores Super Super Seven? Um, Puma Energy based in certain country in this our owner of the franchise of Puma Fuel Station and Super and Super Seven convenience store is um, is a seeing a contract a contract with the franchise uh, uh, a contract for the right to use the the brand is it is it business the the franchise agree to to comply with with a quality standard that Puma Energy owner of the brand required because Puma is recognized for its its it is quality standard but uh, in in fuel in in fuel and the the product so or sold in its company store. Um, among the condition in that the fuel or uh, the Puma station is supplied by Puma Energy. The, the product sold in the Super, Super 7 store come from supplier, suppliers authorized by Puma Energy has, has Puma demand quality so that this brand is not affected by its quality standards. Uh, like with she authorizes promotion, promotion and training for the customer service person. And for everything what the franchise sells, but the fa facilities in and in the Super 7 store for a monthly percent has a brand right. It's a oh. we presentation. Okay, very good, perfect, interesting, very nice. And uh, how important are details in this kind of franchises, right? Um, so it's a very interesting thing, good. Yes. All right, so the next one is Jonathan, Jose Alfredo, and René Molina. You look my screen? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The brand Sarita is uh, required in franchise, uh, how to get a Sarita ice cream franchise as soon fit and business idea? This is a question. Mm -hmm. Is this a 
uh, your outlook for a profit, profitable business opportunity in the food industry. You have come to the right place. Ask yourself a question. Do you know some someone who doesn't like ice cream? Most luckily, yes, but is most the uh, minority, minority. Therefore, therefore, is this article we will explain how to get a uh, helado sarita franchise. Okay, good evening, everybody. Um, uh, we focus the, the slide in two principal uh, requirements. So I'm going to explain the details uh, to take into account to open a Sarita ice cream franchise. Okay. So uh, the first one is the local. Uh, if you want to acquire a um, franchise, uh, you need a, a a local with uh, some uh, esta established established location uh, with uh, a space necessary to uh, the toolkit that the company uh, give to you to start the operation and and all of it. And the second one uh, is the the investment uh, that uh, to acquire this franchise, uh, you need to, to do a payment of 70% uh, of the entrance fee. Uh, uh, this uh, investment uh, must be deposited, deposit to prepare the installation and the permit premises uh, then uh, on the day of the ice cream delivery you must give the remaining uh, of 30 percent and this is our presentation okay very good yeah i mind this uh how interesting it is to get a franchise and here you can see that depending on the product that is going to be the the steps that you are going to take, right? And the requirements and many other things. Of course, there are general agreements, but you need to adapt yourself depending on the product, right? Yes. Very good, perfect, thank you. And the last ones are Ernesto Andrade, Juan Roberto, and Mauricio Rivera. Okay, teacher, can I share the screen? Of course, definitely. Uh, can, can you see? Yes. The screen? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Juan. Okay. Good. Good evening, everyone. We are going to show to show some some frequent questions for all interested people to join Subway franchise. Uh, some question is: uh, What is the franchise fee? The initial franchise fee range from 10,000 to 50, 15,000, depending on your country. Uh, what are the royalties and advertising rates? In addition, uh, well, 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 well. Uh, Subway franchises pay 12.5% per week. Gross sales minus sales tax. 8% goes to franchise royalties and 4.5% to advertising. How much does it cost to open a Subway restaurant? In addition to the initial franchise fee, each location is different and the initial investment varies depending on the size of the restaurant, construction cost, location, etc. And how much money will I earn? Our employees, sales, staff, and development agents are prohibited from providing any oral or written information regarding actual or potential sales. 
actual results vary by result by restaurant. So we can we cannot estimate what the results will be for a particular franchise. We recommend that you contact the large number of owners of several subway restaurants to learn firsthand why they decided to acquire more franchises. Now continue, Ramil. Okay. Okay. Um, number number six. Um, the the different details about this page about the subway franchise uh, is different details, but the 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 number six uh, question or frequently question is what is a development agent? A development agent is a local representative of subway. Development agent will be your main contact in your local area and can provide local support not only during the application process, but also while operating your restaurant. The other, the other uh, frequently question is, how can I become a development agent to find out if you are qualified to become a development agent uh, the page mentioned, click here. Uh, for more information, contact uh, this person, Crystal Backcook, by this email. And the other frequently question is, will I receive training? The training is very important for this franchise or for the old franchise. Of course, I mentioned, training classes are held uh, throughout the year. We have training centers around the world. The main one of which is located in Milford, Connecticut. And you will have a seat to a train centers based on your location and preferred language. And number nine, I heard there is a basic knowledge test. test. What, what, is it, what is it about? Your local development office will ask you to take a two-part test focusing on English and mathematics, and which will take about an hour. All persons who are not familiar with the subway system must take the exam. And then a, a different and interesting frequently question in this page is very, very interesting. The, the subway company is around the world is very very famous and is this this a uh, frequently question is a uh, for the information here in el salvador teacher and partner this is our presentation very good interesting yeah in my subway is very well prepared i mean if you are wondering how can i be a partner with subway they are there. I mean, you can have a lot of answers already, right? In a specific uh, question, in a specific information about this company, teacher. Very, very interesting. Very good. So they are prepared. They are making a lot of money, I guess. And uh, they are giving the opportunity to a lot of people. I mean, uh, $10,000 seems a lot of money, but I believe it's not a lot. The problem is that you have to invest also uh, in the furniture, in the local, and the employees, right? Um, Teacher, uh, for for me, the the most interesting question uh, for invest about in our company franchise or our owner company is this: what is the franchise fee? Uh, the initial franchise fee range range from ten thousand dollar to fifteen thousand dollar this is the average yeah it's interesting it's not that much yeah uh, i mean yeah ten thousand dollars is, is a lot of money for for you to invest but uh <laughs> this is the initial the, the first yeah. In, invest yeah so that that is the thing here it's very tricky right because it says initial so if you want to start the business give us ten thousand dollars right so yeah, it's very, it's very good. It's very interesting because it seems that uh, they are very well prepared for uh, any new business that is coming, right? Yes, teacher. Good, perfect. Thank you very much. Interesting. Can you see uh, franchises, 
there are many, and you can start your own franchises. The only problem is that for first of all, you need to be famous, right? You need to be uh, popular so you can sell the franchise. Once you are popular, you can do whatever you want. Very good job, my friends. Very nice. Do you have any questions before we finish the class of tonight? But for yes, me, sir. Uh, okay. I have a, a, a I can complete the homework one dot seven. Okay. One point seven. Yes, go there. One point seven. Sorry. Mm, it's for you to to type. Let me just do it that very quickly. Okay. So this is about uh, unscrambling, right? Let me just see. Here. Let me try to finish that one so we can check that. Okay, hold on a sec. Mm -hmm. Again, they completed the number two. Number two. Let me just... Hey, the same situation. Okay, For let's do... yes. let's check that right now. Okay. Let's see. I'm almost out. No I have a problem with the same homework. For okay. Three, four, and five. <laughs> okay. I try the the conclusion the the sentence, but uh, that's hey, yes. Um, one is not correct. Let me just check something here. Hold on a sec. Mm -hmm. And it tomorrow, is... teacher, tomorrow uh, morning, win mm -hmm. win Real Madrid. Ah, uh, let's see what happens, right? Yeah. Yes, this is the happy moment for the weekend. Yeah, that is true. What time is going to be the match? Um, uh, 8 a.m. or 8.30 a.m., I think. Yeah, something like that. Oh, oh thank you. Interesting. <laughs> okay, I was, I was checking this one. Okay, uh, number one is retailers help you produce as much profit as wholesalers. No period. I did it with no period, okay? No period, no point. No period in the last. In yes. the last of the sentence, yes. Okay, so the number two is not correct. I mean, the shipment will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. Let me try with period. I don't know if maybe with period. No, so this is incorrect. That means that uh, no importa lo que pongan, siempre le va a salir mal. Lo voy a reportar. This is an error. Number two, okay. it should be like that. I mean, it should be the shipment will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. But it's not taken that one. So uh, I'm going to report that one. No worries. Okay. Number three, Product transportation is as expensive as storage capacity. No period as well. No period. Yeah. The next one says, uh, check. Some channel distribution uh, strategies are not as efficient as others. No period again. And the last one, it says, selling our DL courses through a store is not as profitable as distributing them online. Not big. Really. So that is the exercise, only the number two. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to try different things. Sometimes one word is, is changed or one letter. But it's difficult to just guess, right? So I'm going to report that. Perfect. So let's check the attendance and then let's go to bed. Let's see. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. I'm here. Good. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Blanca Isabel Tumlaca de Rodriguez. Present. Good. Ernesto Jose Andrade Medina. Here, teacher. 
Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Present. Good. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present. Well, good. <laughs> Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Present. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidón. Present teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Thank you for celebrate the winner of the Madrid. Oh, let's see. Let's see tomorrow. Oh, my friend, my friend Roberto. <laughs> ah, with a tequila. Of course. <laughs> Very good. Here, yeah, uh, very nice. <laughs> nice. Sandra Yanira Gomez Romero. Present teacher. Good. Silvia Patricia Saituno Mendez. Present teacher. Good. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Nice. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very nice weekend. Rest a lot. See you on Monday and uh, dream in English. See you on Monday, teacher. Thank you. Have a nice one. Bye bye. Have a nice night. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, teacher. Okay. Uh... Can you send me the link of the course, please? Uh, that because I checked uh, Monday uh, and I didn't uh, subscribe. Oh, okay. I don't know I'm gonna, if I can do it. Let me just go there. Hold on. I'm going to send you here in the, in the, in the chat. Let me just go okay. Here. Okay. Yes. Okay. I. I, I I can't find it in the okay. uh, it doesn't matter uh that part, but you just click on that one, enter your email and the password that is one, two, three, four, five, and it should be working. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Perfect. Teacher. It's a pleasure. Have a nice night. Good night. Hello, Sas. Hello.